welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today we have a zara haul one of my absolute faves to film and today i actually have a lot of homeware bits and fashion bits so we've got a complete mixture within today's video so make sure to sit back relax grab a drink and let's get into it firstly if you are new to my channel and have just stumbled across this video then hello welcome my name is freya i do two videos every week i would love it if you would stick around subscribe and if you do like the zara hauls then give me a thumbs up and i'll be sure to do more of them i am also partnering very kindly with farfetch today if you've never heard of farfetch before it's essentially an online shop with over 3,000 amazing brands from the big name brands that we all know and love, Jimmy Choo, Gucci, YSL, right down to the smaller independent brands that are new and emerging. So loads of different things to shop, loads of variety. Despite the fact that they are shipped from all over the world, it is fast shipping, really easy returns. They do even have a pre-loved section on their website as well. Again, if you're after something specific, then well worth checking out Farfetch. So I have a few new items that I have been shopping. I do also have a discount code for you guys to get 10% off your first order with the code FREY10. I will leave it on screen and leave the details down below in the description box as well, along with, of course, the links to any of the items that I share within this video. You might remember from my last Zara haul that I did, again, with Farfetch, I showed an Anine Bing t-shirt. I have been living in that t-shirt. So I've got another one. Anine Bing t-shirts are lovely. They've got like a kind of graphic on the front. This one has a big tiger. I love the color of this. It's like a lovely stone. This t-shirt does feel very different to my other one that I've got. This one feels far more lightweight and kind of more suited to spring, I would say. This one I'm imagining just styled up with some like cream jeans maybe in spring. And I got this one in a large. I got my other t-shirt in a large as well, just for reference. And I'm sort of size, I'd say UK size 10 and five foot five. And a half. <laughs> Next up from Farfetch is a very much a summery number, this one. And it is something that I have been after for a long, long while now. It's a Hunter G swimsuit. These come in at one size only. So they're made from this gorgeous crinkle kind of fabric which is very, very stretchy. I mean, very stretchy. So it's quite thick. So I feel like it's gonna be supportive whilst also um, flattering as well. I did pick up the black on this occasion. I'm not gonna lie, I had the black, the tan and the white in my basket. I thought, calm down, let's just try one for now. Make sure I like it, love it. So I feel like just the cut of it is very flattering. It's got a kind of square neckline, very low back, which is lovely. And then quite high rise on the legs as well. So I just find it such a flattering cut. I definitely am going to invest in some more. And they also have bikinis as well if swimsuits aren't for you. So well worth checking out. Hunza G, Hunza G London is a UK brand. And honestly so impressed with this one okay next up is an item from a brand that i got from uh, frankie shop the frankie shop which is i'd say it's quite an established brand but it, it is also an emerging brand it's one that i've only come across i'd say within the last six months i feel like they brought out that kind of quilted style coat that a load of high streets um duplicated and yeah, so I feel like this is an item that is going to be a classic timeless type piece. So Frankie Shop is the brand. I got this in a UK, no, not UK, a small. I got this in a small. Now this is already described as an oversized blazer. I would definitely say it's an oversized blazer. It's one of those uh, brands that is quite out there in terms of their style and their cut while still being classic and timeless in style. So with that being said, their small for an oversized blazer is quite oversized. So definitely no need to size up if you're wanting an oversized fit on this one. It's a lovely camel color, some nice subtle tortoiseshell button details. I do tend to always opt for a blazer no matter what the weather. In winter, just throw a coat over the top and in spring, summer, just stick with a blazer over the shoulders. So yeah, I know I'm gonna love that one and get so much wear out of it. As am I gonna love this next and final item that I picked up from Farfetch. This again has been something on my wish list, like the Hunza G for months. I'm gonna say years actually, because last summer I tried them on. I was very tempted. I was like, oh, I don't know. Well, I've bitten the bullet and I've decided to go for it. <laughs> So if you remember last haul that I did with Farfetch, I got the Chloe woody tote bag. I've 
and I've got some matching sandals to go with it. So I decided to go for the Woody sandals that they do. They're just a good old classic staple branded sandal, branded shoe. So the um, style comes in several different colors. I went for the cream color just because I feel like cream is gonna be most practical, most wearable as well. If I love these that much and if I wear them all the time, then who knows, maybe I'll be investing in the black ones too or the other colors that they have. But they do have some other styles. They have some like lacy ones. I just quite like the fact that these will match my woody tote bag so I can kind of wear it together with just a simple white dress. So I did go for a 40 in these. I have tried them on, they do fit well so i would recommend i'm going to say stay true to size if not size up half a size i'm typically a six and a half thank you once again to farfetch very kindly sponsoring today's video don't forget to take advantage of that discount code if you're a new customer you can get 10 percent off 10 percent with the discount code fray 10 so i'll leave that in the description box along with the links to everything that i've just shown and all of the zara bits too Speaking of Zara bits, let's move on now. Whilst I'm sat down, I might as well share with you the homeware bits before standing up and doing all the try-on clips. So the first thing I'm gonna share with you actually came in its own separate box. There is one item in here and one item only, and it is an item that I have had my eyes on, let's just say, for a while. Now, I've started investing in more lamps around the house i've got a white company one in our bedroom i'm unsure where this one's gonna go however i loved it that much i decided to pick it up i mean there's no lamp in this room but i do feel like i might even um pop this downstairs for now so this is the lampshade it is a beautiful natural linen color and then the hardware is all black so this was 99 99. The only thing I will say it was, I mean, didn't check the dimensions, so my own fault, but it's smaller than I thought it would be. Quite cute though. So this is the actual base. This is a kind of rustic black, almost, I want to say like a black terracotta, because there are little bits of it that are like a kind of terracotta, rustic, antique kind of colour. But overall, black, little lamp shade, like so. How cute is that? I honestly love it. Ugh, right, next box. First up, we have a few items that were wrapped up on the top and I just love everything. I've honestly, I've already had a quick sneak peek through this box. I'm just gonna get the prices up. You now, whenever I do these hauls, I'm gonna be honest with you, I do send some things back. Obviously, I don't need to keep everything. However, every time I order from Zara Home, I find it really hard to pick out what I maybe don't need because I just love everything so much. If you saw recently, I had a good sort through of my under sink cupboard, my cleaning products, and the cleaning laundry section on Zara Home is just the dream. If you want an aesthetically pleasing utility, boot room, cleaning cupboard, just shop on Zara Home and just refill the bottles that you buy or the products that you buy, because honestly, the aesthetic, it's just the dream. But anyway, I got a couple of their multi-use, multi-purpose cloths. These are, again, kind of textured with a black rim board. I thought these would look lovely either as a cleaning cloth, but actually styled up. You know, sometimes in boot rooms and things, people style up with like a bar of soap or something and a little round brush to just sit on top. So I thought that would look lovely. I love the texture of that. That was $8.99 for two. And then I also picked up a uh, tea towel. This is just like very country style. I feel like these would look lovely. There's two of them, by the way. They'd even look lovely in autumn as a bit of a seasonal tea towel. So this one has a planting calendar on it. And then the second one is um, just a load of vegetables on that one. They're very rustic, loving the vibe of that. They were $11.99 for the pack of two. Then I got this, I am gonna have to send this back because I didn't measure again and this is the wrong size for my laptop, but this is a laptop case or iPad case, comes with a little tassel zip. It's padded as well, so it's good for protection. However, yeah, it's just the wrong size for mine, unfortunately. That was $29.99. This is, again, if you're wanting to redo your cleaning area, your utility, this is an ironing board cover with all of the neutral vibes. Most ironing board covers are pretty garish, I'm not gonna lie. This one, just very natural, 
love it absolutely love it it's padded it's like feels really good quality it was 19.99 that one i actually picked these up for tom i thought he would appreciate these for in his kind of dressing room it's a little pack of two bags which are filled with cedar so they're cedar wood chips to give a natural aroma so you pop these within your shoes there's a pack of two so you pop them within your shoes and it just kind of neutralizes the odor you can put these wood blocks or wood chip type things in wardrobes as well so anyway they were 8.99 then i also picked up these for 17.99 and it comes in a little linen bag linen striped linen drawstring bag i always repurpose these sort of things whenever i do a zara home order they or even zara for shoes they quite often send them in like really nice duster bags Got so many zara bags around the house that i just repurpose them i love them um so yeah that's the little bag that it comes in and it's a pack of two um anti-humidity bags so again you can pop these within your wardrobes gym bags even utility rooms i suppose just anywhere where you want anti-humidity then you've got these little bamboo charcoal bags but then at 7.99 this oh massive nearly hit my face <laughs> with it this a massive um, spray bottle of fabric water in white jasmine, which is like a classic scent for Zara and Zara Home. So it's um, essentially a um, fabric water, ironing water. You can either remove the spray and pour this within your iron and use it with your iron as ironing water, which is probably how I'm going to use it. Or you can spritz your clothes before ironing. So whichever way you prefer, it essentially just helps roof creases and it also makes them smell amazing and then also i got from the laundry section this multi floor cleaner again in the white jasmine scent so this will look lovely in a cleaning cupboard and also make the floor smell amazing now we've only really got um the kitchen floor that oh, kitchen or bathroom floors that i could use this with now but in future we're going to have all of hard floors downstairs in the basement as well so this is going to come in super handy and definitely one that i could and this one was 9.99 then at 9.99 i picked up this which is a uh, washing up liquid again one that you can have out and just refill if needs be i love the fact that it comes in a nice glass bottle and this is in the scent of vetiver and green tea with notes of bergamot mandarin and cedarwood it smells amazing this scent i have actually got something else in this product this scent i should say Oh, it's so good especially within a kitchen so um yeah i'm actually gonna start using this straight away i've got a tiny little bit left of the one that i'm currently using in that same scent i picked up this liquid anti anti hand wash anti odor hand wash again better and green tea bergamot mandarin and cedar wood this again in a glass bottle will look quite nice actually styled up on my kitchen sink with this one as a washing up liquid and also hand wash they didn't have a hand cream in this usually i like to get a matching duo uh, but they yeah they didn't have that i like the fact that it's anti-odor so in the kitchen in particular if you're cutting up garlic or working with fish then to be able to really scrub off that smell because there's nothing worse is that when you're cooking something especially garlic and you can just scrub your hands but still smell it and then lastly in that same scent of vetiver and green tea so again i'll pop this in the kitchen so all of the products kind of uh work with each other this is a candle so again as and when i'm cooking i as and when tom is cooking or as and when we're just sat chilling in the lounge which is kind of open plan with our kitchen at the minute um it's so good honestly this scent is probably one of my favorites that i've ever smelt from zara home this and the golden grass one is lovely as well but yeah i can't wait to get that little set um not in our kitchen the candle was 19.99 then i did pick up a mug not that i need any new mugs but this one just had a real rustic kind of irregular shape to it that i just thought looked lovely i feel like this is going to be a good morning coffee you know when you want a big mug with loads of coffee to just last as long as possible then i feel like this is going to be a good mug for that this one was 8.99 something that i never thought i would ever need and probably something that i definitely don't need it's a little sugar decanter so this is so cute 
It comes with a little hole there so that you can have a spoon sticking out of it. To be honest with you, I would have quite liked if it had come with a glass spoon, but anyway, it didn't. But this is a kind of like ribbed texture with the little lid here that you could just pop your sugar in. This one was the last purchase I made from Zara Home. It was 11 99 And now I feel like we should stand up and move on to the fashion. I've just tried on all of the far-fetch items, hence why I'm still wearing this t-shirt. And I'm so impressed with them all. So I've done all the try on clips for them. That's why I'm in this outfit. But let's get this Zara box open now. So I've got this cap and it's in this kind of hessian material. $17.99. I thought for more kind of like summery walks that it might be quite nice to have this as an alternative to like the kind of cotton that I would ordinarily wear. But yeah, I don't know. It's quite light. It's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. I'm going to start with kind of like all the trousers that I got. So this first pair, I think if they fit, I'm going to love them. They're called the Weekend Pants. I got them in a medium and they're a really nice kind of washed charcoal colour. They feel so soft, quite weighty as well, actually. They were $32.99. Oh no. Oh no. I thought I was going to love these. I guess the idea of these is that they're designed to be worn like how the model wears them. She wears them quite low. Absolutely not. I would go high-waisted always, which would make them a little bit cropped at the bottom and also a little bit tight. So I thought I was going to love these. I honestly did. These are going straight back. Brilliant start. Um, I'm going to show you. Oh, these are lovely. I've got these shorts. In fact, I think I've got a shirt. Yeah, I've got this shirt, which I thought would look quite nice styled with it. I've also got a white t-shirt, which I'll show you the more casual option version of. So the shirt is in a medium, $22.99. And then the shorts are in a small, risky for me, getting a small, at $25.99. My God, they look tiny, actually. Uh-oh, this could have been a bit of a mistake. Okay, if I start with this shirt, it's kind of sheer. Look, you can see this little white bralette that I'm wearing underneath. These shorts, they do fit. However, I wanted more of a relaxed kind of fit. So I feel like I am going to try and size up to a medium in them. I love the colour of them. I just feel like they're a really natural kind of colour. So, in fact, they'd style quite nicely with my new Chloe sliders. If you wanted to go all out the Chloe tote bag with it as a nice summery kind of outfit. What do you guys think? I'm going to try on the t-shirt now just to like show you these shorts, how they would be a bit more worn a bit more casually. So this t-shirt that I picked up, I got it in a large, it was $11.99 um, and it's kind of like a crop. I actually have this t-shirt already in another color in like a sage green color. So I decided to pick up this one as well. This is the crop tee. Definitely keeping this. I'm a big fan of my other one that I already have. It just feels like such a lovely fit, this t-shirt. You know, if you do wear higher waisted items that you maybe are just gonna like tuck in the top. I'm gonna keep this white t-shirt on and show you these two trousers that I picked up. They're the same style, different color. Um, again, I think I got a small in the, oh no, I didn't, I got a medium. Did I get medium in both? Yes, medium in both. $29.99. They do have a lovely stone colour, which I was after, but they didn't have my size in stock. So I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for them. Well, firstly, let's try them on and make sure I actually like this style. But this is the camel pair, and then this beautiful spring sage green. Oh gosh, I'm glad I went for a medium. They're quite um, snug. They feel quite um, comfortable though, but they do definitely feel snug. I'm trying to put my hands in the pockets. Um, they are definitely lovely and high-waisted, which I like, but, um, and they fit around the waist as well nicely. But I don't know if they feel a little bit snug. Maybe not, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. I'm gonna have to think on this, because they do feel lovely and comfortable. Um, I just feel like around my thighs they're quite tight. So this is the green pair styled up with the same Chloe Woody duo. Again, they feel the exact same fit as the camel ones. Um, so I'm just going to have to ponder on this decision. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think they look silly? Do they look way too tight or do they look okay? I feel like I'm so used to wearing oversized things and comfy clothes. When I do wear something fitted, I feel a bit 
not self-conscious, but a bit like, oh God, they are tight on my thighs. If they look silly, please tell me in a nice way. That would be, that'd be kind of you. I do have one other item to share with you and this one I'm very excited for because I'm just such a dress lover. In the warmer weather, I just live in dresses, I honestly do. I just feel like they're more flattering than shorts are for me. I feel like the shorts are nice for if you're wanting more of a tailored look with a blazer maybe and a basic tee. Otherwise, comfort, I find in dresses. So this is a linen dress. It's uh, got quite, well, it's got long sleeves. I was gonna say quite long sleeves. It's got like a gathered waist and a little ruffle detail. So let's try it on. I've got it in a medium and it was 32.99. This dress is lovely. I love the fabric of it. It feels lovely. It feels really, really nice. It is a short dress which for me is a bit out of my comfort zone. But again, styled up with these sliders and bag, I feel makes a lovely summery kind of outfit, which I am here for. I cannot wait for the warmer weather. Although I say summer, but long sleeves in summer, that's the only thing. How much am I actually gonna wear this dress? It looks pretty. I do really like the look of it, practicality-wise, to either have your legs out and it still be a little bit too cold for that just yet but then your arms are covered. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I would wear it this sort of time of the year, maybe. Um, but yeah, this is what the last and final dress looks like from Zara. I'd give you a spin, but I'd also give you a flash if I was gonna do that. So maybe best not to. Let me know what you think of this dress and all of the other items that I featured. Thank you once again to Farfetch for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check out the Links in the description box for all of the items mentioned within this video and of course for the discount code for Farfetch for 10% off using the code FREY10. Happy shopping guys, let me know if you do pick up anything yourself. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you're doing today, it's the weekend, woo -hoo. Let me know your Sunday plans and yeah, I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.